So I'm here today with uh, John Rudolph, who's from uh, Waterstone Mortgage, and we're going to talk about the mortgage process because a very important part. Most people, when they buy a home, they don't have uh, cash on hand to buy it, so they have to go through a mortgage company. And uh, uh, John's full of knowledge about the process and want to pick his brain about some of the common questions that people ask in the in the process of buying a home. So first question. Um, or the first thing that usually happens is someone may come to me and say, hey, I want to buy a house. And my first question to them is, have you been pre-approved for a mortgage? And I usually like to get them to have that step out of the way before we even waste time uh, on their part or my part or anybody's part. So, John, can you talk a little bit about what goes involved, what's involved in the pre-approval process of a mortgage? Absolutely. First, thanks for having me, Sean. Always love doing these with you. So you're absolutely correct. Uh, when someone's going to buy a house, uh, a lot of times, especially first time home buyers, they're so brand new to the situation, or maybe they've purchased a home years ago. So the whole process has changed dra dramatically, not only due to the pandemic, but just everything at hand, um, you know, obviously the, the collapse of 07 and 08. Uh, so what goes into the pre-approval process? Well, there's actually two different stages uh, I like to inform customers over, clients. Uh, there's actually a pre-qualification level, and then there's the pre-approval process. So difference between the two is this, uh, you know, get a referral and take a phone call, make a phone call. Hi, introduce yourself. Um, I'm going to take all the information down. Usually that's going to entail uh, name, obviously your legal birth name, uh, social security number, date of birth, really generalized information. From there, we're going to get two years of uh, employment history, as well as two years of residency history. So knowing that information up front is usually the best. Most people don't have that you know, information readily available. So that's where technology being what it is, it's always a benefit on my side of it to be able to say, you know, we can do an application over the phone or I have a mobile application or a website. You can put in an application, give you that time to go back to your resume, you know, review some dates, things like that. But um, once you get that, then it's pretty much banking information. Uh, we do have a list of uh, required questions we do have to ask for compliance purposes regarding, you know, foreclosures, bankruptcies, things along that nature. Once all that's gathered, I get to work, run the credit. Uh, you know, that's going to be the first hurdle. But long story short, we're going to get a pre-qualification, meaning I'm taking all your information as truth. Um, I'm going to process everything and I'm going to issue a pre-qualification. From there, I'm going to basically send it over to yourself, the client, and then request documentation to back up that pre-qualification. So depending on the agent, some agents will go and show homes based on a pre-qualification, and I also deal with others that will not. So getting the next set of documents is going to be the key part because the proof is in the pudding. Um, so we're going to need pay stubs, bank statements, tax returns, uh, W-2s actual financial information to validate what you have told us and we assume is truth and be able to look at the detail work more, more closely and be able to see, okay, what is, what isn't, uh, you know, individuals say all the time, hey, I'm working 40 hours at this amount of money. You then get a pay stub and, you know, do the math and actually you're working 25 hours. So that pre-qualification now means nothing because, you know, what is and what is not is a big key. So. Um, once the pre-approval is done, it makes everything throughout the process then go smoother. So I know it's a long way of saying it, but it's a multi-step process. Um, and we try to make it as easy as possible. Realistically, this is a lot of information. They're all, you know, federally backed for the most part. So um, tons of different opportunities too, as far as loans go. So that's kind of like the, the beginning stages uh, of the pre-approval, pre-qualification levels.